Shalom, Most High in Christ, bless Israel. My name is Sister Nayamek, House of Soldier Tamir, and I wanted to take you through my fashion journey. So when I first came into the truth, um, coming in, I didn't know what to put on my body. I'm a little more curvaceous, and so in the world, if it was tight and it was short, I would wear it. So coming into the truth, I wanted to make sure that I was righteous and dressing appropriately. I got a lot of opinions on what I could not and could wear. Um, but some of those were opinions and not necessarily scripture. And so I was watching our foremothers, which is, you know, Mama Shamara, uh, Mama Paria, and some of the older sisters. And I kind of took a little piece from everybody and developed my own fashion sense. So this is my fashion style now. Shalom, soy la hermana Alitza de la Casa del Oficial Cornelio. Uh, en el, mi proceso de, en este caminar, en el principio, uh, como he empezado a caminar, para mí fue difícil como vestir modestamente, pero moderna. So, ahora sé cómo vestirme porque he mirado a muchas hermanas en esta verdad, como visten bonitas que pueden enseñar sus hombros modestamente y se ven hermosas. Ahora yo ya sé cómo vestir y sentirme bonita, elegante y moderna. Shalom, most high in Christ blessed. My name is Sister Rael, House of Officer Amaz in uh, Los Angeles, California. I am just here to discuss my fashion sense as a repenting Israelite woman. Um, coming in from the world, it was definitely a challenge to change into more modest attire. Um, I, Working as a nurse, I have um, always worn scrubs that did not include pants, but, or excuse me, did not include the skirts, but included the pants. Um, and then just in general, wearing pants on a daily basis, it was a bit challenging, um, changing over. However, um, as I traveled around a little bit and I was able to see sisters from different locations um, and their fashion styles, I added my own to it and came up with uh, a little twist to what I've seen uh, around the country. So give me a second and I'll be right back to show you. Shalom Israel, so I'm back and this is one of my favorite outfits and I just thought that I would share it with you all. Shalom, Most High in Christ bless. Shalom family, Most High in Christ bless. My name is Sister Abigail and when I first came to the truth, I, when I found out who I was, I went through my closet, I threw like, every pair of pants I had and then I started watching the sisters in, in the camp. I observed how they dressed and how they carried themselves and I would just be on the edge of my seat just watching everybody. And so I did develop my style. In the world, I wore like tight jeans and shirts. I was kind of like a, a hippie, kind of hunky, rocky kind of a person. So when I came into truth, it took a while, but I found, I found my style. And right now, this is it. Shalom, I'm Sister Daya, House of Officer Joe. Um, today I'm here to speak to you about my style journey. When I first came into the truth, um, I think I was around more so a lot of younger sisters like myself that was unsure of their style as well. So some of the things that was told to me really didn't fit true to me. Uh, when I was in the world, I was super trendy. Anything that had a name, any label, your sister had it. And coming into the truth and learning about modesty and being content with the things that you have um, allowed me to grow. And along with that growth and being around, um, as our other sister mentioned, our four mothers, our uh, elder sisters, the deacons' wives, Mama Shamara, Mama Parya, and other stylist sisters allowed me to pretty much grow my own style. So I'm an 80s baby, um, so anything 80s, colorful, lots of jewelry, that's who I am. So this is my style.
They try to tell us that our strength is measured by a man. That's not true, that's not true. And a woman's role is weakness if we submit to him. Lies, lies, lies. But we know our true power.